Hello? That green smells like urine. This is the tips. They, they went from black to, there's a blue one and like a blank one. We have a name for this hole. We're calling it Fargo. Fresh water, I can go for... Ow. Dang, ants are biting me. <laughs> Look, there's moss in the, in the sand. Or black mold. It's just a distribution problem. That water needs to be put right over here. You know, I've built myself somewhat of a reputation for reviewing some of the most exclusive and private clubs in America. And so I thought I would do something a little different this time. This is going to be the wild and craziest video I have ever done. I will be using, so you know, the Edel irons in this entire video. Right now, you and me, we're headed out to go play three of the worst rated golf courses in America. Our journey begins here in New York at the Buffalo Tournament Club, just outside of Buffalo, New York. And you won't believe the reviews here. Kevin says this place should be avoided at all costs. Playing in your own backyard would be better quality. The negatives playing here are endless. You can start off with the poorly maintained grass to the extra fee associated with them thinking you are sneaking in alcoholic beverages. Justin says with his one star review, management here implementing and enforcing rules like they are Augusta National. Ooh, scary. Joseph, he gave him a two-star review. He says, ridiculous policy on alcohol. You have to give them $5 corkage fee to drink your own on the course. No problem with that. It's the blowing into an alcohol sensor to get your $5 back. Apparently, according to these reviews, you have to give them money and you get it back if you blow zeros in your alcohol. So, so that, but if you don't blow zero, that means you snuck in alcohol and you, they keep your five bucks. I'll pay $5 just for the excitement of blowing into the alcohol sensor. And Chris with his one star review says, the starter who claimed his name was Arthur blank was extremely rude, very unprofessional. We'll never play this course again after his attitude with the way he treated paying patrons. It's no wonder why people don't want to deal with the staff. Well, guess what? We're gonna deal with them. Hey, I'm gone. Do you have a tea time? I think so, like uh... Oh, 1052? 1052. And it's gonna be 49. 49. What's your alcohol policy? Um, you can bring any alcohol you'd like. We just ask for you not to have it around the clubhouse or like the putting green or anything until you get to the first hole. And then what's the, uh, I was reading some reviews, there's like a breathalyzer or something. Uh, if you don't no, bring... We got rid of that. You got That's, rid of that? Yeah. So it was. Too bad. Cause it was, the price was like 44 uh -huh. and then you paid a $5 deposit. Yeah. If you weren't drinking and you got the $5 back, no one liked it. So we just had to raise it, the price. Oh, so I'm paying more? Regardless? Yes. Uh, you'll be able to take card 74 on the left side. Okay. Yeah, there's a starter down there and everything. So okay. You need my, uh, my ticket? When, are, when were you? 10.52. If so, go ahead. Okay. Okay. You Arthur? Arthur. Is that you? What? Oh, I thought that was your name, Arthur. No. 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 Okay. okay. You need my ticket? No. All right. Thank you. So, you got the GPS, so you should be able to uh, look, navigate the course. All right. Okay. Never been here, so just four o'clock. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Take care. Thanks. Maybe they got rid of Arthur. <laughs> kind of bummed about the uh, the breathalyzer deal. I was looking forward to that. And I was also hoping to meet Arthur. 
they've been super nice so far. They're still charging you extra. They just raise the price so that you don't have to do the breathalyzer. Lame. I'm going to play the championship tees. Stretches out to 6,900 yards. It goes back even farther. You can play this at 7,400 yards. I'm not doing that. I'm going to give this place a proper review and see uh, if the reviews hold up to what reality is. They don't have a water problem here, that's for sure. Because I highly suspect the next two courses we visit after this are going to have water issues. Look, there's moss in the, in the sand. They got moss in there. Or black mold. The rule is you gotta move it, but keep it in the bunker. The sand, it's not like sand really, it's more like grit. Even if the sand was dry, it is not like sand. It, it is gritty dirt. We're putting on bent grass greens, and so far they don't look half bad. Second hole of the trip, first birdie of the trip, not bad. Nothing, dude. Just, you know, taking a breather. To be fair, the restroom at, at the clubhouse, it, it wasn't open yet. Uh, grass review, look, it's pretty good. For the rough, good moisture, good thickness. It's not too firm. It's not, this is pretty good. A pro tip here. Don't panic if you double bogey the first hole. He's got two birdies, so you never know what'll happen. This might be the beginning of where all the frustration sets in. We're backed up like two groups here on the fourth hole. The good news is, for the most part, I don't like cart paths. The bad news is, when they go from path to not path, man, it gets really sketchy. Sketchy bridge review? It's pretty good. Other than it being a little slippery, it's not bad. Golf cart review here at the Buffalo Tournament Club. Today we are rocking the Easy Go EX1, cart number 74. It is a gas powered cart, not my favorite, and it is extremely jerky. We do have the plexiglass flip up, flip down screen. It is quite dirty, so it's just gonna be down today. We have an interesting GPS system, kind of one I've never really seen before. Kind of looks like they bought it at uh, uh, Best Buy and just stuck them on the carts. It's all right. We got the cooler, easy go. It's totally empty, nothing in there, no ice, no nothing, but it's clean. Tread on the tires is about a six to 10. We do have the uh, screen for rain in case we get a little afternoon rain shower. That's nice. Layout is generic, basic plastic. Seats, generic, basic. But it gets you from here to there and there to here. So all in all, on the scale of cart rankings, it's about a four and a half stars out of 10. Pros and cons of this track here, uh, the Buffalo Tournament Club. Uh, the pros, the course is in decent shape. Uh, the greens are nice. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give them like a seven, solid seven. They're rolling good. The fairways are decent. I'm gonna give them a, maybe a six, scale of one to 10. The rough, fairly well maintained. Again, I'll give it a six out of 10 rating. So pretty, pretty decently average. The uh, driving range, not great, but not horrible either. I'm gonna give that probably a four and a half stars out of 10. They do have a new clubhouse, restaurant and stuff, but from the locals, I understand the food is the basic to average. The course can play extremely long. Like it stretches to 7,400. I'm playing it at 7,000 today. It's wet, so it's playing every bit of that. We're getting zero roll. The car paths are atrocious. They're horrible. There's numerous puddle spots. They need massive irrigation help, to say the least. That's saying it kindly. The pace of play is, we're at a snail's crawl right now, to be honest, and it's pretty bad. And the management, they make some 
ridiculous rules. Just give us some sand to fill the divots in with and we'll do it. To cry for help. We're crying for help here. Trash cans could use an upgrade. One would think that as you get closer to the finish line here, on the 18th hole, that things would speed up. So got this twosome ahead of me that was waiting. A twosome ahead of them was waiting. So the slow culprit group is not these guys, not the other twosome, but the 12 some ahead of them. Well, that's the Buffalo Tournament Club. The reviews are horrendous. The course is not that terrible. It's not that great either. But trust me, things are about to get much, much worse. And we got a boogie to our next location. We're off again. Our next flight is taking us to um, Austin, Texas, believe it or not. Pflugerville, to be exact. I mean, it sounds like they'd have one of the worst rated courses in America. Hopefully another flight doesn't get canceled because we're running a tight ship on this trip. Here we are in the parking lot of Black Hawk Golf Club in Pflugerville, Texas. It doesn't look that awful from the street, but the reviews did say that the first hole, couple holes looked pretty good just from the road. It is right off a main road. Let's dive into some of the most recent reviews. Now, don't let the 3.1 star overall rating fool you. Most of those reviews that are pulling it up to a 3.1 are from a long time ago. And the most recent ones have been one star reviews. And here is my favorite. Find a pasture where all the animals have died off because there was so little grass left to eat. Place 18 flags in random locations around the pasture. Three, make sure there's no staff running the course so the round takes six plus hours. As a bonus, make sure the cart only lasts for 10 holes. Wouldn't want the experience to be too smooth now. The best golfers should overcome plenty of adversity during the round. Let's hope the carcass photo he put isn't from somewhere on the course. And Corey says, if there was an option for zero stars, I would have chose it. I wish I had read the reviews more thoroughly. And Marshall writes in his fabulous one star review, only come here if you're looking to ruin your day. I paid 44 to play six holes of golf off gopher mounds. That's a great deal. Who gets to play off gopher mounds? Come on, Marshall, toughen up a little bit. Black Hawk Golf Club, here we go. Good, how are you? You open? Coffee? I'll try your uh, breakfast taco. Okay, bacon or sausage? Bacon. Four dollars for that taco. Probably cost them like twenty-five cents to make, but it's pretty good. Hit the spot. Super stoked! They have a practice chipping green here, so I mean it's already not bad. The only problem is you can't tell where the chipping area ends and the green begins. These are your range balls. Shrik's on yellow with the single stripe. They do have a range. It's just closed right now, they're picking it. Um, and in the morning time, you definitely hit directly into the sun. And we're gonna tip this thing out, meaning we're gonna play from the black tees. And we got an over 7,000 yard long golf course. Now the reviews did say holes like one and 10, the ones on the road look halfway decent. And they do. So we'll see how things look as we go. I 
would not want to live here. When you think of Texas, at least when I do, like I think of those old Western movies where there's no water, everything's dried up. This is kind of what you picture. These are Bermuda grass greens. By the looks of it, there's maybe 14 different types of Bermuda growing. I should have looked at the card. There's a little diagram that says there's water up there. Like a pond, you can't see it. This is our Black Hawk Golf Club Cart Review. We are rocking the Yamaha EFI, Quiet Tech Golf Cart. Now, if you ask me, it's not quiet. It's a gas-powered cart. I think they just got those stickers somewhere and put them on the cart, maybe to appease the um, EPA commissioner. I don't know, but they're gas and they're the opposite of quiet. We do have the flip up, flip down plexiglass screen in front. Ours is cracked and cloudy. We do have the rusted out attachment for a cooler, which is not provided, nor is there water on the golf course to drink. We do have a nice rusty basket to store our belongings in. Pretty basic plastic layout. And the seat is a bit um, crusty. It is like a plasticky rubber, torn, ripped, old. Tread on the tires is like a four out of 10. And we do have a club and golf ball cleaner, but you know, you get what you pay for. The highlight of this car is the steering wheel. It's pretty uh, nice, to be honest with you. My ball's right by that sprinkler, so we're just gonna take a little relief here. They give you enough sand for one divot replacement. Better than zero. That's too bad. If they just spent a little bit of money and fixed the leaks, they could use that savings to repair stuff like this on the green. I'm not even gonna clean my golf ball. I don't think it's gonna help. Hop in there. See, you don't need a plumb bob or aim point on these types of greens. You just need luck. Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is I found the fairway. I'll let you guess what the bad news is. You know they mow the fairway, but what is this? This is in the middle of the fairway. Look at this. It's almost like a sprinkler line broke and they made it a uh, like a feature of the golf course. Look at that lie. Hey, center of the fairway. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I've been waiting to find a bunker so I could do a bunker review for you. And then my ball went here and it dawned on me, this is the bunker. <laughs> They've just let the grass take over. So this will be my comprehensive bunker review here at Blackhawk. You got fluffy Bermuda grass here in the bunkers. Typically you get a good lie haven't had one plugged yet. And I would play this kind of like a pitch shot. All right, if I make the birdie putt, we'll give them one star bunkers. All right, one star. My ball is in the uh, Black Hawk tar pit, also known as the fairway.
that is that. We're on to the next location. From what I hear, it doesn't just get worse. It gets way worse. Now our next trip is taking us to one of the lowest ranked courses in all of America. And if you know of any others worse than these, comment down below and we'll be sure to get to them. We're heading to Southern California to a course that uh, you might expect but not expect. You see, Bob Does Sports did a video. It was kind of their breakout golf video where they played at the Lynx at Victoria where Bob was tricking Joey, telling him he was gonna play Torrey Pines, but instead he took him there and it was utterly tragic. Well, this course today is rated far worse than that one. We are on our way to where I grew up, San Diego. The Lynx at Victoria comes in at a 3.1 star rating and at a whopping 2.5. The former private country club, Castle Creek Country Club in Escondido, California, is one of, if not, the lowest rated golf course in America. I used to play here when it was a phenomenal, beautiful track. Let's get a snapshot of a few reviews. Not sure what to call this place, but a golf course is not appropriate. The greens resemble the landscape of the moon from James, one star. I don't know if James ever been to the moon, but you get the idea. This is the worst course I've ever played in my entire life, says Michael with a one star review. You can tell this is more of a rodent sanctuary now <laughs> instead of a golf course. And uh, Philip says, with his one star rating, played February 20th, 2023. This was the worst course I have ever played. Despite having a cool layout, the place looks completely abandoned. The snack bar has broken windows, vandalism, and isn't open. The pro shop should be called the sketchy check-in office. <laughs> it does look a little sketchy out here, I gotta be honest, but it's the last course. No, we save the best for last, or the worst for last. Hey, how are ya? I got a time at, um, I think 1.30. Is it busy out there? No. No? Okay. I didn't pay online. Keys in the cart? Anyone? Uh-huh, anyone? Uh, that's the key number one, okay? Number one right there? Do you have a driving range? Uh, yes. Location. Right there? Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Well, that's good. It's 35 with a cart during the week. It's good to know. We're gonna hit the range and then we'll, um, we'll jump on the first tee box. This would be the starter shack that everybody's raving about. Oh, practice putting green. This would be the driving range. We're using a collection of um, random golf balls. This one from Top Flight is smiling. It's really happy to be out here. <laughs> that ricochet is pretty good. I almost took out my ankle. We're good. All right, we're gonna tip this thing out today at Castle Creek from the blacks. We got a black square and a and a green ball for the black. I guess that's black. Whatever. 6,688 yards from the tips. I don't know if these ads are doing any good on the scorecard. These are the smooshiest greens I think I've ever felt in my life. What do you think of this tee box on number two? The ground, it just kind of gives away when you stick the tee in it, it's like poof. <laughs> I mean, the, 
The fairway is filled with uh, animal holes. What a great life, huh? Come on. These poor people who bought homes on a golf course, golf course views, it's more of a liability right now. Like, oh, you live on that golf course? <laughs> um, this is my uh, fallen tree review. First time ever. 10 out of 10, right there. I was hoping it would be a newer fallen tree, but I mean, I nearly broke off like a giant chunk of the root. Look, I'm not here to beat up the golf courses and to, I'm just here to give honest, unbiased, objective review for you, for, for us. We're, we're in this together. I mean, look, I should have hit the fairway or the green on this par five, but I didn't. I missed it. I'm hard pan. I, I deserve it. I'll tell you, those Edel irons, they've been money this whole video. They've held up in rock stars. And these are squishy greens. Now, I've never played on green squishy. It feels like um, like a carpet that like you wouldn't have in your house. Like weird, like really smushy, cushy carpet. Yeah. It's impossible. Good news is, I just found my swing. That swing was what I've been looking for for like three weeks. Look at that, huh? I drove the green. Well, it's a good thing I made a birdie because we might die here when I show you this. Yeah, there's zero chance I'm using that thing. I'm gonna need new shoes after this. All right, bunker review time. <laughs> I'd hardly call this a bunker. It's more like hard pan lie. But it's kind of in the shape of a bunker in what used to be a bunker. You definitely cannot play bunker shots from them. You've got to like just play it like a hard pan lie and pick it clean. There is a rake. I don't think you need to rake these, to be honest. You know, I really hate it when like all the tee boxes are different. Like some are slope, some are flat, some are the other, or there's mounds in them. This, at least they're all the same. That I like. The consistency is my thing. That ain't dangerous at all. Honestly, I could probably own this place in a couple months, but I'd have to get severely injured. I mean, that's if they have insurance, <laughs> which <laughs> I doubt. You gotta, I'm on the car path and I gotta move out of the way to go under the trees. Like I gotta go in the, like watch. I'm on the path. <laughs> I'm on the path, there's the other one. Hold on, oh my gosh. Now, oh, there's my ball. The problem is finding your ball in the fairway. <laughs> I, they, they lose some in the fairway. I've already found like two strays. This will be the golf cart review here at Castle Creek Country Club. We are rocking the Easy Go TXT 48. Cart number 31. If you ask me, this is kind of like uh, Cuba. I think they've been here since the 50s. This is as old as they get. This is probably, no it is the worst cart I've ever reviewed, but it is fun to drive. It's like an old doom buggy. There's a, there's no plexiglass flip up, flip down screen. So you do get a nice cool breeze as you drive around. The tread honestly isn't that horrific. It's probably, oh, a um, like a five on a scale of one to 10. So we're, we're, we're not doing too bad there. On the seat, the plastic, whatever seat is tore up a bit. It's fine. The layout is as generic as they come, but hey, all I'm really trying to do is get to and from my golf ball. I mean, come on. Do you need a Mercedes Benz of golf carts when you've got, well, I don't know what you got, but you got it.
That's in. I mean, it's in. See? See? You just... There you go. Look at that thing. See? Smooth, pure, 12, 12 and a half speed greens. Are, they're overrated. Spongy, bumpy, hoppy, mushy, cushy. Drop the 35, 40 footer. I'm under par. Now, since I've been here like many, many years ago, I vaguely remember this. And the green used to come out way back here. Because I remember this hill. I mean, you'd be, you'd chip just over this hill onto the green and run it down. Well, what they did was, you actually have to water greens and take care of them and mow them and they take more time and money. So they, they've let it shrink in by 20 feet at least. And then you've just got this tiny circle. There was a first time for everything on a golf course. There was a first time water, when they put a water hazard. There was a first bunker. There was a first hard pan area. There was a first everything. It's not bad. They're innovators here. They really are. They're creating a whole new thing. I don't even know what you call that. It's a grass pit, sand pan pit. That last hole, it was the number one handicap hole. So they just said, hey, Here's what we're gonna make you do. We're gonna make you hit your driver out of the rough on your tee shot. So again, innovation is the key to golf. Ants are biting me. <laughs> See? Innovation again. Dang ant man out there everywhere. <laughs> gotta hurry up and hit. You gotta hurry. <laughs> hey, this is like something out of Hunger Games. New golf challenge. Hit before you get bit by uh, some type of Rattlesnake, ant, alligator, that type of thing. We just cured slow play. Right there, these guys, they know what they're doing. You wanna speed up the game, put some red ant hills on the tee boxes and fairways and stuff. Problem solved. No, it's not a sandy par. It's a grass dirt patch par. I think I know what the problem out here is. You see, you see this guy mowing the lawn up here? This is the ninth hole. He was there, right here, the same spot, when we were on one. It's not that they don't have a mower guy. It's just he's really slow. I could be wrong, but it looks like the clubhouse is possibly going through a remodel phase. Get some from the snack shack. What do you say? Hello? I don't think we're getting a snack today. I guess we go this way. It's not, is this worth $35? It's, what am I willing to pay more to get out of here? That's really what your golf per dollar analysis is. Am I willing to pay $75 to not be here? Yes.
This is false advertising 101 right here. Castle Creek Country Club, home of the View Restaurant. The dining room with a million, it might have a million dollar view, but it certainly not anymore. 18 hole championship course. Uh, all right, that's borderline. Ranked number four course in San Diego County. Maybe in 1948 it was, but it's not now. What does Marty Bird own this place? <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying? This was once, if I remember correctly, the signature hole on this golf course. You kind of had this short 372 yard par four where you would, it was beautiful. And you could see the lake out there or pond, which I doubt exists, I can't see it from here. And so you'd hit like a 240 yard shot, come up shorter and then hit over the, the pond to the green. I mean, it was beautiful. All I know is I hit a perfect five wood right down the middle of the fairway or whatever you call this and it's gone. So it either rolled into a gopher hole, which is highly possible, or it's just sitting in this one of these clumps of grass. I used my three minutes already looking for a ball in the fairway. That shouldn't happen. Did you know the rules? If you take a backswing, a practice swing, and you knock some leaves off of a tree or something in your practice swing, not your real swing, your practice swing, it's a penalty. Like, see that? That's a two stroke penalty. <laughs> figured it out see he got sick and tired of being so good he was so good at the top so he says to himself hey I've all, I've been at the top of the mountain can I own the bottom of the mountain and that's what he's doing he's like number one worst course in America I think that's what he's going for That's pretty ridiculous right there. Those are your three worst rated courses in America. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. I did. Uh, I suffer for you. Love you guys. Let me know what you think is worse. We'll hit it again. Peace.